Hi everybody, uh, this is episode 2 of our replay of Suikoden 1, and I'm joined by a very special guest today. He is an actual bona fide uh, Twitch TV star uh, from Surprise Round RPG. I wrote that down, so I wouldn't Thank get it you. wrong. <laughs> it's Austin. Say hi, Austin. Hi, my name's Austin. Uh, I'm, yeah, like a... Uh... Like John said, I uh, I typically do some streaming over at uh, twitch.tv forward slash surprise round RPG, tell your friends. And uh, we do uh, we do a lot of uh, tabletop RPG based content. And lately we've uh, we've been doing some uh, weekly streams of uh, uh, Trails from Zero, uh, if you're familiar with that JRPG series. Uh, I sure am. And we've been having a lot of fun. Yeah, that, that series is, is great. I just finished really the first is. one, and I can't wait to get into the second one. As soon as yeah. that goes on sale, because uh, I'm not playing £22 or whatever it is, because it's normally mm -hmm. on sale for like 12 So Yeah, yeah um, it goes on my, sale pretty often. Yeah, so as soon as that happens, I'm getting right back into it. I'm going to find mm -hmm. out what happens to Joshua and Estelle. Yeah, so, it's, it's a good story. Yeah, but that's not what we're here for today. Today we are playing some Suikoden, and... Yeah. Uh, so the last time I did this, Gareth uh, was my, my co-pilot, and um, he's busy today. So uh, I enlisted uh, Austin's help, and um, what did we do? Now, Austin, <laughs> this video hasn't gone out yet, so Austin has no idea how far into the story we are. We got like yeah. a, an hour and a half in. We went to uh, Rockland, which is a great name, by the way, uh, yeah. with this guy called Kanan to sort out some taxes because the local government weren't paying theirs. Oh, uh, okay. The people in charge there blamed um, some hoodlums in a mountain pass that they were stealing all the, the taxes. So we fought them, defeated them, brought them back. Um, but they seemed like decent guys, but they got hauled away before they could explain themselves. Oh, uh, okay. So we've been given some money, which, which Kanan is very kindly looking after. And now we're returning to Gregminster to report to our Commander Crazy, which, <laughs> which you can see here. Is it, it, oh, yeah, Craze. Yeah, crazy. There's some, there's some interesting naming going on here. So there we yeah. are. <clears throat> so this is as far as you have to come. I will report to Commander Crazy. So there's no more prying eyes as to where this uh, money is going. So you can mm -hmm. all go home and rest. I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. I can tell. I can tell oh, yeah. by your mustache. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, just, I just recently grew this. Hey, hey, I've I've got one too. You definitely uh, do. That, by the way, this is the first time I've seen Austin's face. That's an impressive beard, by the way. Like, that, thank that's, you. It's very impressive. So, whenever it grows like all the way out, it's wretched. Uh, I I've actually shaved off the sides because yeah. I've got one little spot like right here that is just barren. It grows no hair whatsoever. Really? And I don't know why. <laughs> it's it's just baby smooth no matter what. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so nice it makes me cry. He's planning to take all the credit for himself. Of course he is. He's that kind of guy. Let it go, Pan. It wasn't such a big deal. A uh, big accomplishment anyway. I'm exhausted. I want to go home and rest. And if you've got anyone... You Throw at me uh, to to voice. Feel free to. Uh, you're, yeah, you're more we, familiar with this game than I am, so I'll I'll put you in charge of casting. So in the first game, we uh, in the first episode, right, we didn't do any sort of like uh, dramatic reading, but we can have a go. That that's, I mean, you're definitely used to that, so we can definitely yeah. have a go. Um. Yeah. Okay, John, you once impressed Austin, and he's just asked you to make a decision. Make it the right one. No pressure. Make the right choice right now. Tell you what, whenever you see a person that takes your fancy, you you step in. You go, you hang on a minute, John. You know, I got I've this got one. this. All right. I've got this. Oh. Okay. okay. He makes his own decision. Great choice. Whew, that could have been embarrassing. All right. Uh, yeah. Tell me about. Uh, tell me. About, tell me a little bit about uh, Gremio. What's Gremio his, uh... is he, he he comes across as like um, as as a nanny. He's sort of like the the one looking after the house, and he wants to make sure that every, everyone's okay, okay and uh, like that. Pan is just a big, brutish, like kind of a you know moron. He's kind of a yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna do this, and so 
Uh, Cleo seems like the brains of the operation, and Ted is kind of mysterious. We, we recently, uh, he let slip that he's 300 years old, oh. uh, and then quickly got cut off before he could explain any more on that. So, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take Grimio. Okay, great. Go ahead. Young master, we've been away from home for such, uh, for a long time. I'll fix something special to eat. Great. Gremio, your cooking's terrific. Oh, and uh, last time uh, I gave Kanan a nice voice as well. Ted, you come with me. (laughs) What's this about? Oh, nothing much. It'll be over soon. Come along now. Okay, then. Uh, McDoll, go on home. I'll, I'll see you later. Besides, I have something to tell you. Probably why he's actually 300 years old, but hey, yeah. we keep getting cut off before to the we get to the juicy bits. Yeah. Let's go, Ted. So yeah, I I, I got a, like a a, a a proper wave of nostalgia when uh, we started playing this uh, last time. Yeah, I bet. Because um, didn't you say you haven't actually finished this? Uh, I so I to I hadn't it. I hadn't played too much of the first one Mm. Uh, but i played a lot of the second one and then i've played a little bit of some of the others like i played a little bit of the third and then a little bit of the fourth but uh the first one is the one that i've actually probably played the least of huh okay well this one i finished and that's it (laughs) oh okay (laughs) I, i own the second one i've got a ps3 right here that has it on and the others i've never touched like I, right. I have experience with this one and none of the others, so yeah, I'm uh, hoping to. The third to... one was kind of a bad impression for me, and that really? was the first one I played. But I like the idea of like 108 different characters. I like, yeah. li- I like character collector RPGs where you have to find all the thing to get the secret character and stuff like that. And so uh, I, I was like, I wasn't so put off by the third one that. I was like, I wouldn't be willing to give it another try, and so then I played two, and I really, really enjoyed two. Yeah, I keep hearing that. I can't wait to get to it. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's going to be good when I when I finally get through. Uh, yeah. Finally, home sweet home. Young master, I'll prepare some food right away. Oh, it's raining. That can only mean good things, right? Uh-oh. Phew, I'm stuffed. Sure beats the dried meat we've been eating. Finally some food fit for humans. What are you talking about? You'd eat anything to fill your stomach. You've got a point there! (laughs) Young master, I've made some tea. What? Oh, okay, I, I... I was Go like get fully it. expecting him. Yeah, I was fully expecting him to to bring the tea. It's late. He oh. said he'd be right back. The stew's getting cold. Uh, I guess we go look for him. You master, you must miss your father. Yeah, and that's one of the things I've liked so far. By the way, um, I get choices. Oh, nice. So we, we've got a we've got like a, a protagonist that actually has the ability to talk. So. That's good. I, yeah. I I am almost never a fan of silent protagonists. <laughs> yeah, it just seems odd, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. I mean, you can always write it into the story where, like, oh, as a child, you were like had your voice vocal cords damaged or something like that. But it always seems very weird. It yeah, really it, it's it. it's always just like, and I I understand the 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 game philosophy behind it because you want the char- you want to be able to inhabit the character as much yeah. as possible, but. I I would rather play a character. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, so the, there's two there's two extremes, isn't there? There's the silent protagonist, and then there's the one that's a bit too chatty. That you can you mm-hmm. can kind of fall into a pit hole with that. I mean, I I seem to remember playing the PS3 version of Star Ocean. Oh um, yeah. And that was a yeah. chatty protagonist, and I hated him. I yeah. wanted him to die. Yeah, so. it, it of course is is a bit of a bummer when when you you get a character out of the main protagonist, but then it's not a character you like, and it's yeah. a character you're now stuck with for an eighty hour game. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 
Um, so uh, one of the things I have noticed is that the translation is a little bit spotty. So here yeah. we have an option that says Cleo's here, so I'm fine. When we're talking bet, to Cleo. Yeah, I I bet it's I, I bet it's one of those things where it's like they were translating kind of word for word rather than like trying to localize it, and so they're just like we we just translate it straight from Japanese to English and. Yeah. You know, we let it the pieces probably, fall where they may. There's probably like maybe one or two people working on this, and they have so many thousands yeah. of lines to work on that they can't get it all right. It's just yeah. like, does th is this English? More or less, okay, move good, it. good on enough. The next one, yeah. Okay, Cleo's here, so I'm fine. You master, where did you learn such language? <laughs> exactly, yeah, lost weird. in translation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pan, was it you? Young master, it's kind of disturbing, isn't it? How so many people are saying bad things about the Imperial Army. You're right. Compared to the days when we won the War of Succession, the army's reputation has gone down the drain. Because of shady characters like Kraz and Kanan doing whatever they like. And I guess... And so that was go get one your of the tea. Yeah, I was going to say, oh no! Oh, uh-oh. Uh... Young master, what in the... Cleo, Pawn, give us a hand! Ted, what happened? All this blood and this wound, it's not natural. Magic? What are you doing? Bring him in immediately! Young master, give us a hand. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. <laughs> nah, it, I just washed this. I don't want to get blood on it. Uh, yeah, I have it's been, been raining I, outside. He kind of smells. Yeah, I, I, I've been kind of cheeky with my because you can you can prank some of the people, and I have been doing that. But I think I think in this one, you can't yeah, have if, to. if he's serious, if it's a serious situation, we should probably at least make an attempt to be the good guy. Probably. Ready? Put your hand on my shoulder and Eve. Oh! What do we? Does he have a dislocated shoulder or something like what? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Okay, sure. What happened? Was he attacked by thugs on his way back from the palace? But then, why would he have a magic wound? He's coming around. Uh, oh, where am I? Where are they? The Imperial Guard, aren't they here yet? Help me, McDowell. Relax, everything's fine. Tell us what happened after you calmed down. Gremio, I... Dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. I'm guessing this is earlier on. This is a flashback. Oh, okay, a little bit of a flashback. Because we're gotcha. in the palace now, and Ted's right there. Hurry up, you will you? I'm starving. Keep quiet and wait. Commander Crazy is seeing Lady Windy now. Oh, like, God, I want this guy, yeah. Go All for right, it. Ted, follow me. Okay, okay. It's been a while, hasn't it, little man? You haven't changed a bit in 300 years. I'm envious. You! You're that witch! Well now, you remember me, do you? That pleases me. Of course, you've never left my mind for a moment. Now give me that rune you have on your right hand. No way! I'd rather... What are you doing? It's the cursed rune. The soul eater. It's power. Don't be a fool. If you use that here, you'll destroy yourself too. That sound effect. I have such memories of that <laughs> sound effect. Man. 
Uh, McDowell, please. Hey, Ted. He's passed out again. What is going on here? It seems the Imperial Guard was after him. But how can that happen? What are you accusing Ted of? He's a good boy! I don't know. <laughs> he was I don't know, Cleo! <laughs> He's been silent this entire time. Everyone else is just, like, looking around, like, yeah. like that's not what it says on the script. <laughs> Maybe we'd better contact the Imperial Guard. Why? Your best friend would never do anything to harm the Empire. Why should we call the Guard? But we can't be sure. We can't cause problems while Master Teo is away. Teo's our dad. Yeah. Well then, we'll wait until Ted wakes up. Meanwhile, the main character, McDoll. We, we called him McDoll McDoll, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Gar Garish choice, I, I think it's a good one. Uh, yeah, I like it. His, his default name is Tyr, T-I-R, so. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, we're just solemnly staring at Ted whilst he's <laughs> sleeping. Um, the Soul Eater that Ted mentioned. I've heard of it somewhere. Don't worry. Ted would never go... Uh, Ted would never get into trouble. His previous statement kind of says otherwise. Yeah. The young master. Ted's fever isn't getting any better. I'm going to go wake up the shopkeeper and buy some medicine. Cool, okay. I'm getting tea. Oh, sorry. It won't sorry. stop raining. It's a nasty rain. Gives me the shivers. I'll just go back to staring at Ted then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's waking up. What are you guys mm. doing in here? <laughs> I'm sorry to be a bother. Forget it. What did you mean by Soul Eater? Oh, the rain stopped. That's good. McDoll, please. Will you do something for me? Give me a choice. Give me a choice. Give me a choice. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to. Love the, I have the, to. the blank. Just yeah. no. Just no. Now die. <laughs> <laughs> McDoll, take off my right glove. That's weird, but okay. I mean, I mean, that's the, this? This, the classic sort of like. So Gareth made it actually really like good point in the last episode, saying that basically this is a souped-up Super Nintendo game, and I can totally yeah. see that. Yeah. And in those games, whenever you did something, you just sort of like phased into the bed slightly. Yeah, yeah, because so, of the the way the layers are and everything. Yeah. What's this? Not one of the twenty-seven true runes. Yes, it is. This one is called the Soul Eater, the Cursed Rune. The source of all this trouble, and the reason that the court magician Windy is after me. Why? Why Lady Windy? Why would she do such a thing? I don't know why, but that witch wants this rune. I've been wandering the world for 300 years, trying to escape from her. I never thought she'd find me here. My mistake was using the rune's power at my Mount Sifu. Yeah, so in the previous episode, we were up against like a weird sort of bug lady, and she was absolutely trashing us. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Ted just goes, hang on a minute, everybody, and blap, and he just destroys her in one hit. So It's like, sorry, guys, I'm actually like yeah. level 63. Yeah, exactly. And Kane is like, hmm, that power, I've seen it before somewhere. <laughs> you come with me, young man. Is this what you used to blow away the Queen Ant? A doll. With this <laughs> period, rune's... period, period, comma. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's an odd one. <laughs> I'll never escape from that witch. I hate to bring friendship into this, and knowing it will bring unhappiness. But, but, <laughs> you're the only one. Please, please protect this rune. 
This cursed rune must never fall into the hands of Windy. You're the only one I can entrust this to. Please, take it. Take this rune. I have another choice. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how how uh, the top answers are always like, yes, Positive. dead. I yeah, will yeah. take the rune. And yeah. then the bottom one is just, no. <laughs> I, I think this is sort of like the um, Paragon Renegade uh, circle thing from Mass yeah. Effect. <laughs> it's in its beta form, but, you know, it's there. So, Thank you, McDowell. This rune may bring you suffering. If it does, blame me. But you must never, never let it fall into Windy's hands. By the way, I've got to say that, uh, so this is a Konami game, as you already know. No. Uh, Konami used to make um, arcade machines, and I actually oh, yes. had one. Yes, they did. And one of the ones they made was a Konami Windy, oh. which is kind of odd. Uh, yeah, that's wonder, the one I, I had. I wonder if it's like a, a direct little reference or I, like the people being cheeky or something. Maybe. Um... So yeah, it, it's it's basically a copy of uh, an Astro City, if you know what one of those is. Nice. So I'm uh, I I haven't uh, I haven't done a whole lot of arcadey stuff. Uh, those those mostly died here. Um, but we used to have a uh, at a mall nearby where I live. There used to be a, a Sega City, which was just this huge, awesome arcade uh, at the mall that was just yeah. full of Sega games and. And uh, it was really cool. And then they they shut it down and remodeled that whole mall. And, uh, it was like a it was like a, a, a glow in the dark putt putt golf place for a little while, which was yep. kind of neat. But yeah, yeah. That you know what? Weirdly enough, like uh, Japan's had its arcade survive for the longest time, mm -hmm. and COVID is just the final nail oh, in the coffin on that. That's so sad. most of them have been, you know shut down but anyway uh, yeah i miss arcades from from my too. childhood and yours too so i mean yeah. yeah it sucks give me your right hand mcdoll no <laughs> no and i've been blessed with the light of oh, that was easy. apparently yeah it's just like a bank transfer here, no. let me transfer my curse to you. <laughs> I can relax. Oh, that didn't sound good. E yes? <laughs> Is that the sound somebody makes when they want to be served? <laughs> they just got like a bell on the front counter that just makes breaking window noises. Bing, bing, crash, crash. Hello? <laughs> Out front, follow me, Grimio. Yes, Cleo. McDonald. Oh, I thought he died. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Relax. I'm just thinking, oh, you're just going to... Yeah. Oh. Final breath here. For 300 years, I've never had a good night's sleep. But now, I think I can. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh -oh. Uh, is there an escape route? <laughs> yeah. Well, time to go to bed. So, young Master McDowell is here too. It, it's my house, so yes. Indeed. I, that, I, I knew that. Give us Ted. We know he's here. Loyal Pawn here told us. Oh no. What? Betrayal. Wow, Pawn. I thought so much of you too. Pawn, you! Why, Pawn? How can you do this? I can't allow any trouble to happen while Master Teo is away. I can't lose his trust in me. Please understand. What a selfish reason. You know, that's actually not a terrible reason. <laughs> like, his reasoning's not terrible. It... Mm, I, I agree to disagree. <laughs> I agree to disagree with you on that one. So. Well, it's like it's like if Teo came home and found out that his son and entire household were arrested uh, for harboring a fugitive, that's like a bad spot to be in. Crazy. Can he really be a, he really be a fugitive if he's been alive for three hundred years? 
I guess he I guess he's a fugitive the moment that the people in power decide that he's a fugitive. Great. That, that's just like the way that history works. Yeah. 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 So 300 years ago, we had a battle and we won. And these guys that lost, they were the bad guys. <laughs> yeah. That's how that works, right? They were bad. They were meant to lose. If they weren't supposed to lose, <laughs> they wouldn't have. Yes, our Lord told us that they were going to lose and they lost. Not because we had the bigger weapons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, drag Ted out of there. I won't allow it, Craze. No one, even a commander of the Imperial Guard, can enter Master Teo's house without just cause. Or a warrant. That's right. I swear on my hatchet, I won't <laughs> let you pass. <laughs> Oh no, oh, it's going hatchet. down. <laughs> oh, Ted. Oh, don't do it, Ted. W wait. So, you're giving up, huh? McDoll, they think I still have the Soul Eater. What's that? You don't have the Soul Eater anymore. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I'll be the bait. While you escape. While We're escape. all just standing here, you know. We can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> then what about you, Ted? <laughs> oh, so no. the top answer is no. <laughs> yeah. This time, this time it's a good guy thing to do no. I, I it totally is, but Bartby just wants to go. Yeah, all no, right. no. I, well, all right, makes sense to me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Young master! With that wound, Ted will never get away. He's he's been alive for three hundred years. He's had a good innings. Like he, yeah. If he, you know, if he doesn't make it, like he he, he did pretty good for himself. Yeah. Quiet, Gremio. Young Master knows it too. But he must keep his promise to Ted by leaving right away. Right, Young Master. It, no. Crazy, just like <laughs> um. Yes, I I have an appointment. All right, to keep, everyone. Please. Um. Hurry. Just execute all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I understand. Young master, let's escape through the back of the kitchen. Oh, the back of the kitchen, you say? <laughs> just, yeah. Go to the back of the kitchen. <laughs> ah, that door that we didn't know ah. about. Yeah. Thank you, McDowell. In 300 years, you were my my only true friend. Wow, that sucks. Wow, didn't didn't we meet this guy, like, pretty recently? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I have control, so I could just go back into the, the front door. <laughs> yeah. You, you! You're a suspicious character. <laughs> na, 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 na. I like how the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the rain uh, doesn't... Uh, shift with uh, the way we're yeah, moving. Yeah, it, it's, it's all just like one one layer. Yeah. So, like Gareth was saying before, this is pretty much just a souped up SNES game. Even though this is on the PlayStation 1. <clears throat> yeah, wait, what year did this come out? 90... I, I, think it's, I think it's 95. Oh, wow. Then it's a very uh, early PlayStation. Yeah. It might be 95 in Japan. So in 96 mm. it came to... Uh, America and 97 it came to EU so wow. just like three months before Final Fantasy 7 dropped so oh, like, if you compare it that to this plan. it's just <laughs> yeah apparently there were traitors in Gregminster maybe you're running away yes uh, oh hang on oh, that was a strange thing to do in the middle of me talking to them they're probably not they're, they're probably fine though oh yeah I won't report this in it's too much paperwork it's already raining. I've got like waters puddling up in my in my uh, grieve. Grieve. Oh, nice pull. Uh, it appears most of the doors are locked. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably like uh -huh. midnight or so. Uh huh. Oh, and she has a portrait as well. Oh. Which means she's a oh. recruitable character, I think. Oh my. Why? Aren't you the young Master McDowell? What in the... Come on in. 
<laughs> really, you're doing that to the British guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on in, then, dear. You dick van diking me right into my face. <laughs> What's going on here? Imperial soldiers running around while you come scurrying in, soaking wet. What the? Oh, well, forget it. You probably can't tell me about it. I'll let you do a Texas guy later. <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. You're welcome to hide out here. I'll just put it on your tab. Harboring a fugitive tax? Yeah. I like how she she already knows the the play on it as well. Like, oh, you don't need to tell me. The more I the more I know, the more the less I, I know, later. the yeah. the less I'm an accomplice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, I I have control. I think our only least alternative given us a bed. I, yeah, I think our only alternative is to travel north and ask Master Teo for help. For now, we. Better figure out a way to escape Grimminster. Young master, we better make ourselves scarce for a while. But good heavens, I never thought we'd ever. So I don't never, actually never remember. What? I don't actually remember <laughs> no. where the story goes from here. I remember the bit with Ted, but we meet mm -hmm. up with some some people, and I don't remember how that happens. So. Young master, try not to wander about. Sleep on this barrel. I, yeah, I guess. I... Is it one of those situations? <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to do? Am I? Maybe you keep talking to people. I, don't know. That's... <laughs> I guess you have to wait. <laughs> I wonder if we use the rune, perhaps. Oh, <laughs> the quack. Yeah, the quack noise. Uh... Very strong. Um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we just ignore what Grandma says. Try not says. to wander about. Or do whatever, I guess. Yeah. Screw me, I guess. So this is the Imperial capital of Greg Minster. It's worlds away from the poor village I was raised in. Hey, how about accompanying me on a journey? Travel is fun. This is the sort of thing, like, when you're hitchhiking and the, the trucker get, is just like, Oh, I've been <laughs> waiting for you! <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, the warning signs are just going, No, 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 I'm good, I'm good, thanks. Walking is great. Unseen vistas, new friends, and romance. <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what this is. Well then, now that we're fellow travelers, I'd be grateful if you'd pay my bill for me. He didn't even wait for us to say okay. Either. He's just like, yes, you are my traveling companions now. Capital my foot. Living the high life all by themselves on our hard earned taxes. That's probably the wrong voice for the the guy complaining about taxes, but never mind. Probably sounds a little bit more like me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Young master, you shouldn't wander about. Unless you want to. <laughs> Alright, we'll save the game. Uh, actually, yeah. I so one of the other things that I forget about, like being a, a part of the PC master race nowadays, is like, yeah, you can't just make like five thousand different saves. You've got like oh, one save yeah. that you can use on the PlayStation One. Oh, this guy looks like he might be uh, wanting some company, right? Yeah. Oh, I just can't believe. Oh, I just can't believe that General Teo's son was a member of the Rebels. If only I knew where that guy was. Yeah, that guy that's mysteriously always wearing a bandana. Hey, it looks good on you. Yeah. Go away, I'm exhausted after manning the lookout all night. So, wait, these are all the guys that stopped us leaving town, I guess. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, hello, I know this guy. Do you recognize this guy? I get the- I, I don't. Oh. I always thought Victor was in Sweeker Than 2. So it it has been like probably like 10 to 13 years since I played Sweeker Than 2, so uh, it, it's possible, but I, I I don't totally remember him. It's 25 years since I played this. Oh. oh wait. 
Almost. More like 23, something like that. So I played it when it first came out, and I haven't played it since. So 90, yeah. 97. And Vic Victor is my favorite. So Cool. Yeah. Do you want to do Victor? Yeah, I can do Victor. Uh-oh. Oh, I was so hungry, I just couldn't help myself. What shall we do? Oh, I actually thought he was going to be the, the way out of here since he... <laughs> oh, okay. Um... Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, ouch! Which way are you going, you little runt? I got called a duty on a holiday, sent out to search for someone all night, finally find a moment to catch some rest, and you come along! Oh, <laughs> Austin, what, what, what do you think we should do here in this situation? Uh, let's see. I mean... Shut up, you fool! Certainly sounds like it'd be more fun. It, yeah, we, there was only ever one choice, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't even see the other option. What kind of language is that? We're Imperial soldiers. You, pro your protectors. Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. Young master, <laughs> are you all right? Hey you, who do you think you are? Who are you? And what's this young master business? You, show me his face. You look like that fugitive, the McDoll kid. What did you say? Any more of a fuss and we're in big trouble. Young master, get away while we hold them off. Guess we have no choice. Here we go. That's enough, young fella. You too, Imperial Big Shots. Use your heads. Would fugitives from the law be hanging around here? Looks at the camera. They couldn't be that stupid. I I suppose you're right. We just wanted to be sure. Stop it. You're scaring them. Leave it to me to kick them out. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. You come with me now. <laughs> Kicking them out looks suspiciously like we walk in a line out of here. <laughs> Don't worry. There's no reason why we should be so loyal to the Empire. That's weird. <laughs> That's a weird line. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's that guy. That's another weird line. What what's yeah, your to with weird. hey it's that guy? Thank you very much. Oh wait, she must be talking about Victor because he didn't pay for his lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even still, that other guy, that was a weird line at that moment. Yeah. Eh, no big deal. I was just wondering how to pay for my meal, and, uh... <laughs> you mean... You did that just to bilk the... Wow, bilk is a strange choice of words as well. Yeah. Come, come, let it go, huh? Well then. Thanks for helping us out. And by us, I mean me. The royal we. I... Where did he go? Oh, hi. Oh, I'm just gonna sit on this bench. Yeah, let's continue this over here. What's the matter? You look troubled. <laughs> I know who you are. That rebel McDull kid, right? We are not rebels. You know, now that, now that I see more, like I'm wondering if Gremio would be sort of like a C-3PO sort of voice. We are not rebels. Can you see that? No? <laughs> yeah, a little oh, bit. Yeah. I, I just, I see the scar, and so I'm like, I assume he's probably like a little badass at least. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's just all the nannying that goes on. It's... Yeah. Well, I couldn't care less either way. Incidentally, how do you plan to escape this place? I have an idea. If you care to listen, I'm used to this kind of thing. Interested? <laughs> you know what, actually, I, I'm going with the top one. Like, we've only just met this guy. Yeah, and we the only thing we've seen him do so far is use us to avoid paying for a meal. 
Yeah, let, let, I'm not sure we can trust him. We totally can't trust him, by the way. He's totally trustworthy. Yeah, I agree, young master. I can't trust him either. Oh, come on. Oh, well, that... <laughs> well, that really uh, forked in a way that helped us out, didn't it? Okay. I like how... I like how it's like, yes, we all agree. You cannot be trusted. Oh, uh, come on! And then puts you back in one of those, like, forever yeah. loops. Leave it to me. But I have one condition. At the end of it, I get to kill you. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, okay. Okay. You know, deal. Oh, <sighs> Here we go. It's no big deal. If you succeed in escaping, I'd like you to meet someone. Small request, right? So it's a deal. Let's hurry. First, we must go to the palace gates. Don't worry, I won't hand you over to the Imperials. <laughs> okay! Hmm. There we go. Yeah, so whenever somebody joins the entourage or enters us, that's the, uh, the little stinger noise <laughs> that gets made. Yeah. Does it do that in two? Um, I think it does something similar. Okay. If it's not that exact one. So I change formation. And so uh, you get you get six and six per battle in this uh Yeah. Or six during combat and then uh with a back on the line weapons. and a, a front yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Clemio is our um ranged uh user. She is a uh, okay. an archer. Um and Victor is very much not that, so we should put him in the front. Where he's gonna deal the most damage. Cool. Well then, I'll go talk to them. Just relax and wait here. Hmm. <laughs> Psst. They're right there. <laughs> Give me the money. Everything's okay. Make sure you hide your faces. Ah, these bushes. Here, put these put wait, these blindfolds what? on. Oh, okay. Sure is hot around here. I think I'll get in the shade. <sighs> we did it. I thought my heart would burst. How did you do that? Yeah, no big deal. I just gave him a little gift. Imperial soldiers act tough, but money's their weakness. To be fair, Victor, money's everybody's weakness. <laughs> you had the money to pay yeah. for your meal? He just wow. didn't want to. Class act, this guy. Mm. That's the state of things in the Imperial capital. Corruption is everywhere. Everything's about to come apart at the seams. Funnily enough, corruption is everywhere I go. Weird, that. Yeah. <laughs> That's too bad. Wait, so like, we're in the Imperial capital, Cleo lives there, but she hasn't noticed the corruption go on until somebody's just told her about it. Also weird, considering how people broke into her house last night yeah. to, to arrest them all for the, the non-crime of hanging out with Ted. Say, how did you bribe it? You just told us you had no money. Okay, all right, they bring it up. That's that's good. That's nice. Why should I use my own money to get uh, to help you get away? Wait, are we suddenly without money? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Hey, my wallet! When did you... There you go. I suggest you keep a better eye on it. And now, for our little props. You haven't forgot, have you, little fella? Creepy. It's Master McDoll. Okay, so it's Master McDoll. I'd like you to meet someone in Lennon Camp. Agree? No. Uh, neither of those are no. Ignorant of the real world, eh, Master? It's a quick trip south. Let's get going. So, so far, everywhere we've... Everywhere we've gone, it's been, we either go directly east, or we get on a dragon, and it takes us there. So, 
I'm wondering if. Oh yeah, we can also bribe things. Oh right, nice. Ball. Just Don't. like S and T. Yeah, you know, like, let's bribe this wild ball and see if it works in currency. Love this. Uh, lo love these. Uh, these ground textures. <laughs> yeah, that was the first thing I noticed as well. I was like, I remember the the sprite work being amazing in this game. The 3D textures, not so much. Mm, yeah. Three hundred bits. Mhm. Mm there we go. It really was oh. to the south. Wow. Here we are in Lennon Camp, McDowell. Not much of a place, but they do make fine tea here. <laughs> well then, it's about time. Uh, it, well, it's about time I got to work. Let me go make some arrangements. I may be late, so take a look around. Did you want to arrange a place to meet us, or...? He'll just come find Who us, is I guess. This? Who is this fellow that Victor wants us to meet? You know, I can't trust that man. Ever since he stole my wallet. Ever since he stole my wallet. And yeah. Stole I... that food. And... Yeah. He's a real upstanding sort of guy. I have no idea, so what should we do now? I'd love to take a shower. Let's just go to the shower shop, then. Yeah. Uh, I... So this oh. is the rune shop? Yeah, the rune masters. I don't think we've picked up anything. Um, so before we got given a, a fire rune that we gave to Cleo... Um... Ah, so she actually has some spells there. Flaming oh, arrows okay. and firestorm. And and the rune is uh, it's something that you equip to the character and they start developing magic, or is I... the rune directly tied to the magic? I Where don't it was know. like, if you take that fire rune and give it to Grimio, will he have those spells instead, or? Let's find out. Yeah, I I, I feel like we should be able to do that. I don't think it costs money, so let's let's try it out. See what happens. Right, so. Ah! Okay, yeah, so it looks like uh, he's getting flaming arrows now. But there was another and spell maybe, that she had. Yeah, so maybe maybe the more you level up with a specific rune, the more you unlock, and so it kind of, it kind of benefits you to keep your runes on the same people, unless so, you want to get multiple people with the same spell. So what I'm wondering is, you see the below the heart symbol, there's like this sort of star. Oh yeah. So I'm wondering if this is, is this... like if this is like D and D, and that's like first level spell, and she has ah. one for a second level spell. Oh yeah. Yeah, quite possibly. So if we if we go. So she's back... a, she seems like she's a bit more of a caster anyway, so it'd probably benefit us just to keep the fire Wait. in on her anyway. Uh oh, you're overloaded. Oh, oh it's because he, he has too many items. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, item management. Huh? We got an antique. We can... yeah. So you can get things appraised as well, which is kind of odd. Oh yeah. So it's it's kind of like a well, I I made the joke of saying that it was a loot game, but I'm not sure. Yeah. That, I'm not sure. It how it to... uh. So, uh, funnily enough, uh, Shining Soul 2 very much operates on that same sort of, uh, that same sort of thing, where it's, it's like a little action RPG, but it's, uh, a loot, it, it's like a loot game, where, you know, you, uh, you'll occasionally run into a weapon that has, like, a little question mark on it, and then you take it to the appraiser and you find out if it's any good or not, and then you you either you know equip it or throw it away. Yeah. So speaking of Shining Force, like the, the reason that Austin and I, as you can probably tell, Austin's American, I am not yes. American. Yes. Um, the reason we met is for our shared love of the Shining Force series. Oh um, yeah, yeah. And something I'm... that very, very recently got announced. If you'd like to talk about it. Oh. 
Uh, the oh, are we talking about the 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 mobile? The mobile game. The, oh yeah, yeah. The mobile game. Yeah. It's... So, I, I largely what I've seen so far, I'm like, I'm tentatively excited because Sega yeah, has too. burned me so many times. Yep. I'm I, like, obviously, you know, more more shining stuff that that harkens to the uh, the original series by Camelot is a good thing. Um, yeah. But I know that it's with a uh, it's with a Korean development team, um, and they have done largely like other kinds of mobile gacha type games in the past, and so I, I really hope it's not gacha. Uh, it totally but, is. It's totally going to be yeah, a gacha game. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I'm just hoping against hope. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I, I will. Maybe we'll get some some nice new art of some of the some of the older characters. That that'd be nice. That that's my hope as well. Oh, oh this hello. guy! I've got I... something to tell you. <laughs> you know how monsters sometimes leave behind those urns. Well, sometimes you find valuable things in them. <laughs> if you take these things to an appraiser. <laughs> Thanks, Crin. What a thanks name. for sending us. <laughs> thanks for giving us half an idea. Yeah. What? So the appraiser is literally just like a, an eyeglass. Yeah. I don't see one here though. Uh... Hmm. But yeah, in, in terms of uh, what was the game called? It is uh, Shining Force. Of, I think it's of Light and Darkness or something along those lines. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hadn't even heard the the subtitle for it, but uh, you know, if it if it as long as it has like as long as it has like centaurs and birdmen and you know just stuff like that, I'll probably yeah, actually, be happy. Actually, lean lean into the the, the strengths of the shiny the the, in, the things that are interesting about that world. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you're a friend of Victor's? Well then. I'll prepare the best rooms we have. Ah, okay. So we had to stay. By the way, that's the biggest clock I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I guess what's his name? Uh, Victor. Never returned. But we didn't make any other plans. Let's wait a bit longer, and if he still doesn't show up, we'll, we'll head north. We'll Perhaps... go back home. Yeah. Perhaps Master Teo can help us. How do you voice that? I, I usually, whenever I see those, I'm just always... I, I kind of do it as either like a sigh or a hmm. Yeah. Cleo. Why... Why did Pawn... Don't. Gremio. Oh, somebody's pressing that bell again. Oh, somebody, somebody's knocking at the door. Let me, uh, let me go get some tea. Uh, what's going on? It's such a late hour. We've heard that some fugitives are staying here. We'll look around. I'm saying it loud enough so the people in the rooms can hear us. <laughs> We're the Imperial Hectuplets. <laughs> but, sir, I guess they're sleeping. Shut up! Do you plan to harbor rebels? Sir, they're coming for us. Victor, he must have ratted on us. Even though he had plenty of opportunity to do so earlier and didn't, I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. This doesn't look good. They'll find us for sure. Let's hide behind that giant clock. <laughs> yeah. That's totally what's going to happen, isn't it? Victor's, <laughs> they're Victor's like, going to come. Like, We're going to use our ability to hide inside of you, and then you hide behind the big clock. Just like the Russian dolls told us to do. <laughs> yeah. No, the, I, I, remem I think I remember what happens. So Victor comes from a secret compartment in that clock. Oh. <laughs> that's why it's so enormous, because it has to hide the door that's behind it, or the stairs. <laughs> 
What should we do, young master? <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight. Let's fight him. Yes, young master. I, Grimio, will protect you with my life. Oh, stop it, Grimio. He was kidding. There's too many of them. Calm down. How do we know that? Yeah, she obviously has extra vision. We're in big trouble now. Grimio, maybe we can get young master out before... This way! Hurry! Behind the clock! Who was that? Oh no. Now our room is haunted as well! Young Master, not that way! <laughs> He's right. By the way, the voice. It came from that clock. No! No, well, Cleo! Then we have to talk to the clock. No, I want to go to bed. Yep, good night. Oh, okay. Oh. What are you waiting for? What are you What Hurry. are you waiting for? Hurry. Do you want to get co Oh, okay, sorry. Uh <laughs> It's uh, all right, don't worry. Yeah, I can take her. Yeah. Oh, what you, you can take her, can you? Yeah, uh, well, that's what you told me to say. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Hurry. Do you want to get caught? Who Who are you? Whoever it is, thank God. I'm the spirit of the clock. Now get in. So you're the new friends that Victor told me about. Everyone's waiting. Follow me. No. No. Uh, here's Flick, the other character oh. that I'm very fond of. Oh, now cool. Flick is in Suikoden 2. I'm almost certain of it. Oh, okay. Sorry, McDull. You must have had a tough time, but it was exciting, wasn't it? What's, go uh, what's going on here? Sorry. I didn't think I'd give myself away so soon. Oh well, now that you met Odessa. Odessa? Their name rings a bell. You don't mean the Rebel Army. Rebel Army? We prefer to call ourselves the Liberation Army, but who cares about names? Let me introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Odessa Silverberg, leader who cares about of the names? Liberation Let Army. Let me introduce myself. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> leader of the Liberation Army. How do you do? Victor. Oh yeah, he looks familiar. Are these the people you wanted us to meet? That's right. Prepare yourselves for a surprise. This here is the son of General Teo McDull. And a fugitive to boot. Don't you think he'll be a great asset to the Liberation Army? You've got to be kidding. Why should Young Master join the Rebels? Right, Young Master? Oh, I'm give joining me a the Rebels. Give me a no. choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should. So he says. He's interested. No way. Recently many of our hideouts have been discovered. There must be a spy amongst us. Of all the problems we already have, we can't afford to recruit complete recruit complete strangers. Guess you've all been fooled by Victor as well. Whenever he takes a liking to someone, he just drags them in. And steals their things. And steals their things. But they do appear to be hunted by the Imperials, and the town's still full of soldiers. So thank you for that. So, cool. You may stay until things blow over. Whatever decision you make afterwards is up to yourselves. Y you've got to be kidding, young master! Join the rebels? No way! Isn't that nearly word for word what he said before? <laughs> rebels? Liberation Army? Well, why not? Maybe we should become true rebels. On the other hand, what will Master Teo think? 
If Odessa uh, greets you as a guest, so will I. What's that, sorry? I get, big, I get big Locke Final Fantasy VI vibes from this guy. Yeah, I, I get the impression there's a lot of uh, copy-pasting going on from Final yeah. Fantasy VI. I mean, with the overworld map as well. Like, it, Yeah. My name is Flick. Lightning Flick of the Liberation Army. You've never heard of me? Well then, remember the name. The quiet one there's Humphrey the Swordsman, and that's Sanchez. We three are pretty famous in the Liberation Army, you know. You don't really think the Empire will take you back, do you? They'll kill you for sure. Pretty true. I've got this. Yeah. Oh, stuck on a stool. My name is Sanchez. How do you do? So sorry. You must have had a fright. Victor's got bad habits. I guess we're enemies. Too bad. Wait. So she automatically is. And then she just stabs you? <laughs> I. Do we go this way then? Oh, hello! <laughs> oh. Man, we just keep finding dead bodies everywhere. First everywhere. Ted, now this guy, and then we just walk over his corpse. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, Gremio, he's fine. I I must tell Lady Odessa. Let's take him inside. Where are we? Don't worry. This is the Liberation Army hideout. Have you a message for me? You must be Odessa. Thank goodness. I'm one of the main Mount Seifu bandits. But we only attack those rotten Imperials. Anyway, the other day the Imperial Guard came over and captured our bosses, Varkas and Sidonia. By the way, those are the guys we beat up. That we yeah, we, we did that. <laughs> we were just sitting there like, ooh. Uh, heard of them. Varkas and Sidonia? Could they be... Shh, be quiet. <laughs> like I said, Cleo's the brains of this operation. Lady Odessa, please, help Varkas in Sidonia. That rotten Grady of Rockland has strung them up to starve to death. Outrageous! Execution without trial? Even by Imperial law, that's illegal. Oh. But Odessa, Imperial surveillance, uh, yeah, Imperial surveillance has been intense lately. We have to keep a low profile. I'm aware that we're understaffed, but the bandits have asked for our help. We can't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to. I have to. What do you mean? It's your fault. We... So if we were playing, like, uh, Trails in the Sky or something like that, it would just come up with a little, a little narrator text saying, we filled them in on what happened. Yeah. I, I do appreciate that, because they spend enough time going over things that have already happened. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I see. Well, even if you don't know what you're doing, you still have to claim responsibility, right? My brother, right, McDole? Uh, in brackets, yes, we do have to follow orders when we're given them. When you're working for the, the army. You must rescue Varkas and Sidonia. I'll help you too. I agree. I don't plan to betray the Empire, but Grady is unforgivable. You're right. Undoing Grady's wrongs would be good for the Empire. Besides, if Young Master gives the orders, I will follow. Thank you. Varkas and Sidonia are strung up at the home of Rockland's military commander. If you don't hurry, they'll dry up. <laughs> dry up. <laughs> Please help them. <laughs> the humidity like... is very low. <laughs> the humidity <laughs> yeah. out there today is very low. McDole, <laughs> uh, I beg of you. Victor, you go too. Leave it to Victor. 
Let's get going, McDull. Rockland, here we come. And he talks about himself in the third person. Isn't Victor great? Victor joins party again. Is there anything in barrels? I don't think so. I'm I'm pressing on them, but yeah, there's no even... like search. Hmm. All right, I think we'll get to Rockland and we'll call it a night. Cool, oh, cool. The, sounds I guess, good. I guess the guys have just disappeared. They got bored. Yeah, that. they're they're like, all right, you're clear. Weird clock though. <laughs> um, <leave>. Hi. <laughs> They say some traitors some... <laughs> are on the run. It's not you guys, is it? No! No, no, no! No! No. They ignore the fact that we have unique sprites and portraits. <laughs> <laughs> I like how, like, bouncy the, the map sprite is. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I like it. Ah, okay. I forgot to put Victor on the... Oops! ...on the front there. Yeah. The first time I played this, I didn't understand the, the whole front row and back row thing, and for the longest time, Victor just couldn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, well, this guy's useless. Yeah. You know, I didn't... I don't think the game does a very good a example of, like, ex explaining stuff like that, though. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't told us anything. There was a, a bit right at the beginning of the game where um, we go to our house, and... Everybody leaves the scene, you're given control again. But it doesn't tell you like what you're supposed to do. Wow. Okay, somebody... these birds. Could somebody hit something please? I know they're only hitting us for one, but still it's annoying. Yeah, so it wasn't giving us any explanation on where to go. <laughs> what the hell's going on with these birds? <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Wow, okay. Yeah, so you could just go out into the street. Like you're Everyone leaves the scene, your dad goes out the front door, and you're expected to... I, I think you need to go find one of the characters. But at that point uh -huh. in the game, it hasn't told you anything. Mm. It's just... It, it makes yeah, more choices. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, lot, of, lot of those older RPGs, uh, especially ones that were, like, a little... Like you've got uh, that were like new for the for the system. Yeah. Ended up with a lot of like just awkwardness to them because either it's a translation thing because they didn't want to put a ton of money into it, yeah. uh, because it's it's big gamble, uh, or like you know you've got these this graphical weirdness that's going on where it's Plus, like I mean, you know they're still trying to figure out how they how to do 3D and get the best out of it and everything yeah, exactly. and so there's like that growing pains period of uh, that, a lot I of I mean that's systems. exactly what the PS1 was as well like it was yeah. figuring out how what to do with these 3D polygons that we've never exactly. worked with before uh, Exactly I, I know there's there's actually very few of them in this game but I think they do decent with with what they're given, like the spell effects, the rune effects uh, are 3D, and I think there's little touches here and there that are sort of like, I mean, the ground textures are probably the worst example of that, but yeah. apart from that, like they've got the it, it, one thing that that stands out to me about like the graphics in this is the sprite scaling. Uh, so like whenever the camera zooms in and the sprites just like get chunkier and bigger, yeah. it the the sprites unfortunately like the way that they're designed, they never quite look like they're scaled just right. Uh, I would I would say that they help they hold up a lot better than the the early polygon stuff does though. Oh yeah, it sure does. Yeah. So there's no I question. I would easily take this over like the graphics from let's say the Final Fantasy VII. Or yeah. Dragon Warrior, or something like that. Like with uh, with Dragon Warrior, uh, at least for the the PlayStation one, they were still doing 2D for the most part. I think I think some of the the backgrounds and stuff were 3D, but like the sprites were all still 2D in uh, Dragon Quest VII. Oh, so I'm I'm going. So when I said Dragon Warrior, I seem to remember like reading somewhere that like the the polygons in that are bad, but I've never. Uh, I, I mean, it never they're... came over here, so I never played it. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. yeah. It never made that, it over here. So Dragon Quest Seven is, it's long. It's like 
It's I like a, a hundred hour RPG. No no joke. Like just the base game, one hundred hours. Uh tell you what, before we before we finish, um we're gonna Aww. have uh you do one of the mini games and see how you do, okay? Okay, cool. It is three cups. With a coin oh, okay. underneath. Now, Gareth, I, I couldn't do this. Gareth could uh, do the 1,000 bits challenge. So, tell you what, we'll start with 100 bits. See how you do. Yeah, we'll yeah, do we'll work our way bits. up. I'm usually pretty good at these. All right. I'll try it too. So. Uh, left. Yeah, I agree. Gareth also told me that the, uh, apparently there's like a sequence to this as well. So if you follow oh. a guide, you can you can just cheat and make a load of money. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So the thousand bits one is a lot faster. So are you, are okay, you ready? Cool. I'm ready. Okay. Let's let's do this then. Oop! Lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I only lost it near the end. Uh, I'm I, I'm thinking it's the right. Yeah. So if we follow the same sequence as the last time I played this, the, the last time we played this, it was the middle one. And I wonder if it's oh, going to okay. be the middle one again because it's a sequence. But we'll try right. because We can find out, one. yeah. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it is, it is indeed a sequence. It's a sequence, yeah. So there we go. Wow, I can only imagine what the 10,000 looks like. I mean, I'm not going to do that today. What yeah, we can no, do, it's... actually, what we can do is we can save state. Oh, we can save state, yeah! We can save state it, so we've done that. Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna see what the 10,000 bits is like. All right, prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what, do you, what do you think that it's gonna be? That is ridiculous. <laughs> It could be any of them. I'm actually going to assume right, just yeah. based on uh, the, the just sequence. based on the fact yeah, yeah. that it's the only one that it hasn't been so far. All right, let's let's go with that then. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> what a shame. I mean, we we lost nothing really. But yeah, um, thank you very much for filling in, Austin. Uh, it was, yeah, no it problem. It was great fun to do this with you. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll definitely do it again sometime. Um, you bet. But for now, that, that's to. it. So uh, cool. thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>